Teachings of Buddha by Bukyu Dendo Kokoi Chapter 3 The Eternal Buddha Common people believe that Buddha was born a prince and learned the way of enlightenment as a medicine medicant. Actually, Buddha has always existed in the world which is without beginning or end. As the eternal Buddha, he has known all people and all and applied all methods of relief. There is no falsity in the eternal Dharma which Buddha taught. For he knows all things in the world as they are, and he teaches them to all people. Indeed, it is very difficult to understand the world as it is, for, although it seems true, it is not, and, although it seems false, it is not. Ignorant people cannot know the truth concerning the world. Buddha alone truly and fully knows the world as it is, and he never says that it is true or false, or good or evil, he simply portrays the world as it is. What Buddha does teach is this, that all people should cultivate the roots of virtue according to their natures, their deeds and their beliefs. This teaching transcends all affirmation of negotiation of this world. Buddha teaches not only through words but also through his life. Although his life is endless, in order to awaken greedy people, he uses the expedient of death. While a certain physician was away from home, his children accidentally took some poison. When the physician returned, he noticed their sickness and prepared an antidote. Some of the children who were not seriously poisoned accepted the medicine and were cured but others were so seriously affected that they refused to take the medicine. The physician, prompted by his paternal love for his children, decided on an extreme method to press the cure upon them. He said to the children, I must go off on a long journey, I am old, I am old and may pass away any day. If I am with you, I cannot care for you. But if I should pass away, you will become worse and worse. If you hear my death, if you hear of my death, I implore you to take the antidote and be cured of this subtle poisoning. Then he went on his long journey. After a time, he sent a messenger to his children to inform them of his death. The children receiving the message were deeply affected by the thought of their father's death and by the realization that they could, would no longer have to benefit of his benevolent care, recalling his parting request in a feeling of sorrow and helplessness, they took the medicine and recovered. People must not condemn the deception of this father physician. Buddha is like that father. He too employs the, the fiction of life and death to solve people who are entangled in the bondage of desires.